Hi, my name is Eyes Wide Open, and I'm back at it again. So today, we're going to talk about common sense, which I should say common damn sense, which I feel that this earth, the people who inhabit the earth, do not have common damn sense. Um, so I'm going to give you a story. There's a guy at my job. Feels like I'm an atheist. Or he has a hard time where I come from. My concepts. What I speak about. And he said, you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I said, hell to the nah. Hell nah. I don't accept no white man or black man. I don't care who you are. I don't accept nobody as my Savior. And he felt highly offended. So he don't. He said, "So you think that Jesus didn't die for your sins?" I said, "Let's look at reality. Let's look at common damn sense." And sometimes I have to speak to these people to get that through their head. I said, "If I committed a crime, what do Americans like to say? If you do the crime, you got to pay the time." So in a certain way, that is like a sin. It's obvious you should not kill. You know, and I sit there and told him, like, if I kill people, and I did it intentionally, should I not be responsible for that? And he said, well, that's what you have Jesus for, for him. He can forgive you for your sins. He said, how would you like if the judge stepped down and he pardoned you for that? I said, well, for starters, you know, by me being black, that's not going to happen. And for two, I have not seen a judge yet step down and parted anybody for a crime. And he takes the blame. I have not seen this. I said, so now you're using a delusional term, but you're not thinking reality. So I see people get away with 100% knowing that the, he's guilty. He get away free of charge then I see some people who is completely innocent and still get tried as guilty I said so where is the common sense in that is that hard to think about I said so if there was such thing as a Jesus going around saving people well it's not working for us black people And he said, no, that's your theory. I said, it's not my theory. It is the truth. Because it's common damn sense. Because this reality you're living in is a delusion. Because the reality I'm living in is real. So I said, let's go back. So a man named Jesus. I have to attack this stuff because people don't use common sense. And some feel highly um, pissed off what I say. Offensive, put it like that. But only Christians feel offensive. I said, so you ask to believe that you can sin, commit heinous crimes, and all you have to do is say, in the name of Jesus, abracadabra, and it's done and over with. Jesus forgave me your sin. How did you know he forgave me your sins? Did he came to you in a dream and said, your sins are forgiven? Or we're just looking at verses in the Bible. All you have to do is state my name. I said, let's look at history. I said, when I go through history, def definitely European history. Let's look at um, World War II when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Let's look at that. When the Japs killed all those people and the military men at Pearl Harbor. Did President Roosevelt said, well, we're going to forgive them for doing that. Or he said, let's say a prayer and pass us the ammunition. I said, I learned from your history. I said, you Christians, you preach, but you don't practice what you preach. Period. I said, I feel I'm to the point that you Christians are some of the most evilest people on this planet. 
And he said, that just, that's just devilish thinking like that. I said, it's not devilish. I said, you, you commit crimes and you want to wash it off in a man named Jesus. I said, I have a problem with that. I said, for an innocent man to die for your sins, think about it, listen to the word innocent, innocent. Somebody who did not commit any type of crime, die for your sins. You are responsible for those sins. And I have to speak logic like that because I'm starting to think that Christians don't even think logic. They can't think logic. And not only that, this man also think that he's God. So once again, we got to use common damn sense. If anybody know who Thomas Paine is, I advise you go get that book. So some people want to know what is my sources. You know, I'm not going to spill all my sources in one video. It's just not going to happen. But you're going to have to do your research just as critical as I did. I did my research for years. Constantly doing my research for years. But we're going to go back to this concept. How can a man be God? Think about it. If a man can be God, if his name is Jesus, let's look at some common sense and some logical questions. A man who's created through his own creation. So if God created Adam, why he couldn't just create Jesus? Is that not possible? He did it before. So why do he have to come through his own creation? So that makes him having a birthday. So now God has a birthday. And now he also has a death day. That's not the concept of a God. That's the concept of a man. And let's think even more logical. If this man named Jesus was God. Because only Christians are saying this in their stuff. Or the son of God. Which is physically impossible. Once you put your math together and start thinking logic, it's physically impossible for anybody to be a God and walk on this planet. Definitely a son of God, because you still hold the essence as a God. Let's think of that word essence. But we're going to go back to that. So if Jesus is God, we have to ask ourselves logical questions. I'm going to say this fast. A God don't pray to a God. A God don't weep to a God. A God don't needs to be teached or taught his own religion. They even went so far and said that John taught Jesus. Yes, do your research. And a God, think about it. Why will a God need to be baptized? Hmm? Somebody put that in the comment section because I need to know that. Or make a video referring why would God needs to be baptized. We got to look at the concepts of the ignorance and the stupidity of people's thoughts. Why did Jesus didn't know the difference from the fig tree? Not knowing it, that it weathered away from the fall. So he cursed something because it was the fall. So you're God. If you're God, you understand everything. It was like if I was a, a computer engineer and I design a program for my computer. I understand everything about this program. Once I see this computer start getting out of whack, it's my job to do what? Fix it. I don't have to go inside the computer and be a part of the computer to fix it I just fix it why is it so hard for people to understand that but anyway that's why I have to say it's common damn sense that if I'm God why do I need a transmitter why do I need a translator why, if I'm God, why do I need a translator? What do I mean by translator? Why do I need to somebody to speak for me? Translator. 
If I'm God, I don't need nobody to speak for me. I speak for myself. I just do it. If I have a problem with somebody, I just speak to that person and I warn them. Not me has to go to another person and speak to them. You know, um, this is just called common sense. So once you start doing your research and your study of the Son of God, let's think of the research. Son, Son, Son of God. If we was created by God, if God created Adam and he created Eve, why Adam cannot be considered to be the Son of God? This is logical thinking. Obviously logical thinking. So that will make us all sons and daughters of God. Hands down. Not one individual. Not one individual. We all will be considered sons and daughters of God. So when we say son, how about the nature of? We are the nature of of God. We are the essence of God because we came from out of this earth. So when we get tests done on our body, do we not have some of the essence that we see in dirt into our body, our organs, our organism? Is our body not organic? Organic stands for all natural. Is the earth is organic or is synthetic? We have to start thinking logical because if we don't start thinking logical or common sense, somebody is tampering with our brain. Somebody is planning with us. Somebody is planning with our state of thinking. You know, it is common sense not to kill. I can understand if you have to defend yourself, but it's common sense not to kill. It's common sense not to inherit another man's wife. It's common sense not to inherit your daughter or your cousin. <clears throat> it's common sense. It's, it, it's common sense not to steal. These are some basic, basic things. I can understand that if we have people who have more wisdom to teach us young people something and they leave a footnote Maybe that's different. Maybe that's understandable to write it down to teach us to have morals. So the lady who kept contacting me in my uh, my comment box, you know, she was playing like saying, who gave you permission to do what you do? So for that person, it's the same person who gave the permission for the preachers to do what they do. So let's look at more common sense by a preacher, which is basically stand for pass down. It's not for you or them themselves to critically think on their own. It's to pass down a teaching and a teaching and a teaching. It's like why I put the, the reasoning of the Bible is a copy of copies of copies of copies of copies and it keeps going. You know, that's why I'm trying to teach people to do your research and you will see how far this rabbit hole goes and it's almost a best it doesn't end preachers do they preach what they ask do they teach what they preach oh let me put it like this do they practice what they preach more simple because they obviously don't I have my father is a preacher and one of my biggest issues was with my father as a preacher. He taught me the Bible. That was not the issue. But my biggest issue was he didn't practice what he preached. Why should I have to go to church on a bus and you're going to church in a Mercedes? This is my own father. This is my own father. Why I have to call? Why? Why is it a problem for me to call you for a ride? And this is for anybody. I think Tupac even said it better. Why should I have to go to church? And the inside of church look better than my own house. When we go outside the hood. You know, there's people living terrible out there. 
but inside this church is nice and this and that and etc. You know, and I'm probably ain't saying the exact words how Tupac saying, but that's what he's basically stating. Um, I think Michael Mack stated something. He said that the white man always presented Africa as being these little men walking around leaf type style underwear and they living in huts and he said when I went to Africa I didn't see that but he said only he said when I came back to Brooklyn New York only thing I seen was a hut was the, the houses in Brooklyn New York hmm. why would he state that question because it's obvious let's use common sense it's obviously that somebody's only recording the bad, the worst. They're not recording the best, the best of them. It's obviously that. It's like me. If I go and I get me a camera and I only record the worst of white people, what is other people's going to think of them, other nations? I am surrounded by drug addicts, and majority of them are white people. So I can easily go out there and grab my camera and just start recording them and having conversations with them. And I'm just go all around the hood and just showing them what exactly what they're doing. But I'm not showing nothing great they do. It's common sense. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to leave a footnote on that. <laughs>